Find out what's happening in the market on this week's The Brian Murray Show. Find out what a flood of new agents means for you as a buyer or seller on this week's The Brian Murray Show. Welcome to The Brian Murray Show, a real estate show, New Jersey style. I'm Brian Murray, and today's hot topic is about new agents in the market. Right here in the Wall Street Journal, this is Monday, March 22nd, so here we are uh, in that week shooting the show. But Monday, March 22nd, front page, front page of the Wall Street Journal. You see this is the front page right here and this part right here. I'm gonna read the headline. Real estate agents outnumber homes for nationwide, for sale nationwide. Real estate agents outnumber homes for sale nationwide. Let me tell you what that means. That means there are more realtors right now than homes for sale. Let that sink in for a minute. That if every realtor sold a home, there would be more homes for sale. That means that on average, each realtor is able to sell less than one home on what's currently in the market. Couple that with um, a lot of the change in the COVID economy and a lot of people getting into real, to real estate. They're getting in because one, hey, the real estate market is hot in a lot of segments. Number two, they think it's easy money. Number three, it's a low barrier to entry. So what does that mean? It means a flood of new agents are coming in at a time when there isn't that many uh, properties out there for, for sale. So what does that leave you the buyer with or the seller with? As a buyer, you know, that new agent might be really, really hungry and, and jumping through hoops for you, but they don't have any skill. They don't have the 19 years of skill that I've put into the business to understand the local market, to understand the process and the agents and all of the various, um, things to win a bidding war and to really look at your pre-approval letter uh, to understand what attorneys to use, to have relationships with our other agents, to understand why there's some homes that are valuable and other homes that might be less valuable, even though they look the same on paper. So new agents really hurt you that way as a buyer because they just don't have the skill set or the uh, experience. Number two, as a seller, now you have all these new agents in there saying, hey, pick me, pick me. I look at how cool I am on social media and on TikTok. And, and honestly, I do TikTok and I do social media and I think uh, um, actually it's done pretty well. And I've been doing it now for several years. So I understand what works and what doesn't. And I actually hire people that make uh, it even better than what I could produce on my own. This report, this show and these reports are part of my social media. But so as a seller, you're looking at an agent, a new agent out there, and maybe you might not want to necessarily uh, hire that new agent, but they're your brother-in-law or they're a cousin or something. That hurts you. It hurts you. It doesn't help them at all um, uh, because they can't really service you. So all they can do is give you a better price, but price is not value. You get what you pay for. A lot of times when you hire a professional to handle one of your most valuable and important assets and transactions, that's exactly what you're doing is hiring a professional to handle one of your most important and valuable assets. Um, new agents are just not skilled for that. It takes experience. It takes understanding. It takes understanding how to look at a mortgage pre-approval, how to understand what the other attorney is, how to understand the market conditions. As you see later in this show, I do market updates weekly, weekly market updates. This market changes each and every week. Interest rates change each and every week. Buyer, buyer uh, purchase power, therefore, changes every week. Seller position changes every week. It's all supply and demand. You need an expert who understands the market. So when you say, see here, real estate agents outnumber homes for sale nationwide, that makes me nervous for buyers and sellers out there who don't understand that, um, you know, that, that supply of agents isn't really doing them a favor, it's actually hurting them. This is this week's discussion point. How's the market? For Hoboken, Jersey City, week of March 21st. Normally, I would say, 
hey, if the market's great, it's bananas. Color of my shirt, bananas. I could even hold up some bananas, have some banana graphics raining down on you. Stop with the bananas because it's beyond bananas. Mangoes, I don't know. It might be kiwis, but way, way, way beyond bananas. I just wanna give you one, one number in Hoboken, last 30 days, 107 contracts in the last 30 days for condos alone. I've been tracking this market for 19 years. That's the top. That's the best 30 days. We're there. 19 years, that is the highest volume in 19 years of tra tracking the market on condos under contract, uh, according to the MLS. So let's talk about the numbers and how's the market. How do you think the market is? It's Kiwi. So in Hoboken, 207 condos available. That's 39 in the last week and 101 in the last 30 days. But there's been 107 contracts in the last 30 days. Do the math, the inventory is going down. Days on market, there have been uh, a median number of days is 22. So the average days is, you know, the medium day is 22. The, the average is 41. So there's been a lot of stuff that was sitting, but the median days is 22. And that's about 42% of these are lasting two weeks or less, two weeks or less. So the market is Kiwi. Number of solds in the last 30 days, 81. I told you that number would continue to rise to the uh, discount percent, 2%. I don't even think it's 2% right now. I am seeing a 5% increase in prices or more over the last 45 days. 5% or more in a lot of segments. So if everybody's thinking, hey, you know, we're gonna look back at numbers in January and December and try to understand where the market is right now. No, I'm adding 5% or more to anything that's 60 days old, 5% or more. Jersey City, that might be mangoes, not kiwi. 197 available condos, 24 in the last seven days, 82 in the last month. But they had 80 went, go under contract in the last 30 days. So 82 came on, 80 went under contract. There you go. That market is very, very stable. It's mango. Days on market, the average day is 55. But again, a third of the homes under contract in less than two weeks. And I gotta just take one second here to talk about what that really means. By the time you get an offer in and you get the offer accepted, if there's multiple bids, for instance, and you gotta go to a highest and best, it can take three, four, five days before you actually hit the under contract button. Four, five days on a good case scenario. So when I say that 33% of the homes are in contract in under two weeks. What I really mean is that 33% of the condos are under contract in about a week. And that's the truth. So this market is mango. Number sold in Jersey City, 61, and the discount rate is less than 1%. Where do you think prices are going when you have one month of inventory and you have uh, homes at less than 1% discount? It's mango and kiwi out there in Jersey City and Hoboken. And that's the market, the March, the week of March 21st. The good, the bad, the ugly. Hey, the good. It's first week of spring here in 2021. Um, exciting that, uh, you know, the weather's getting nicer, people are getting out more, things are starting to come back to normal. Uh, so, Hey, that's really the good part of it. You're seeing businesses, um, restaurants have more people in them. You're starting to see the streeteries kind of be, become more crowded. Uh, so that's really the good. Oh, by the way, did I mention that the interest rates are still 3% or less? So who knows whether that's good. It's good. The bad. I'm going to give you a personal bad story here. The other day I was so tired that, um, you know, I went to make the coffee and I forgot to put the coffee pot on it back into the machine. So I went in the other room and did something and waiting and came back to wait for the coffee to find that the coffee was actually made not in the pot, but all over the counter. So I would just say that, you know, sometimes bad things are going to happen and you just have to kind of laugh them off. Um, 
And that's the bad. I mean, everybody's got a little something in their life right now, but look at focus on the good. Look, it's getting light later and it's getting warmer and you know, so the good and the bad and the uglies is guess what? This is pothole season. So be careful out there when you're driving around. Know that, I, wow, the cities are just, they do what they can, but that's not much. Cause I don't, I think there's like one guy uh, that goes around with a little can and he probably walk in a tiny little shovel, the tiniest little shovel you've ever seen. And they go and they scoop like this super hot stuff and they like drop it down there. And then they don't even pat it down. They like drop it down there and hope cars are gonna run over it and not catch fire and smooth it up. And that's their idea of fixing a pothole in Hoboken, in Jersey City. That's the ugly part of this whole thing. So the good hopefully outweighs the bad and the ugly about what's going on. And a little bit of inspiration for all of you people that are coming over from Brooklyn. Uh, a little poem for you. Spring has sprung. The grass has riz. I wonder where the birdies is. A favorite in uh, my household. Uh, my grandfather used to say that every spring. And so now I'm passing it along to you folks that are coming from Brooklyn and coming over here to New Jersey to find a much better life uh, that's also a lot cheaper too. Uh, this has been The Brian Murray Show. Thank you so much for watching. As always, all episodes of The Brian Murray Show can be found at the murraypropertygroup.com under the blog section. I love all of your comments. I love your shares, your likes on my social media, on my LinkedIn, on my Instagram, uh, Murray Property Group, on my Facebook page, the Murray Property Group. Check me out in all of those places. Uh, definitely let me know that you're, you're watching. Click the likes, click the shares. Uh, do appreciate that. And uh, if there's anything in the show that you disagreed with, reach out to me directly and I'll show you why you're wrong. Thanks for watching.